Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the loss of exponents. Actually, sobrang dami na natin videos about loss of exponents, but still, I want to rebump those videos and I will try to compress all the loss na kailangan ng mga grade 7 students about loss of exponents. So without further ado, let's do this topic. The first law that we're going to talk about this here in our video is all about the product law. For the product law, here's our representation for that, or law natin. We have m raised to x times m raised to y is equal to m raised to x plus y. Here, the base is the variable m. It represents the base, while your x and y represents the exponents of the bases. Now, in applying the product law, what you need to do, if they have the same base, you only need to copy the base that is the same, and then simply add exponents. Again, do not multiply the exponents here. All you need to do is to add the exponents. So let me show you example number one. In number one, we have x squared minus x cubed. As you can see, the bases are both x, meaning they are the same. So what you need to do, since they are the same, you will copy this base, and that is x. Single x lang. Now, as for the exponents, 2 and 3, what you need to do is to add them. 2 plus 3. Here's the proper way. And after that, to get the final answer, you have your x, then add exponents 2 and 3, that is equal to 5. And this is now the product of x squared times x cubed. Again, guys, don't be confused. Don't get me wrong, huh? This one is multiplication, but what we need here about the uh, regarding product law is to simply add exponents okay that's how it works let's move on to item number two for number two we're using parentheses it in implies multiplication so we have 2y to the fourth power times negative 3y to the fifth power so meron tayo itong coefficients na 2 and negative 3 so basically i multiply lang natin yan that is 2 times negative 3 that would give you the answer of negative 6, right? That is negative 6. Now, let's deal with the variable y. For the variable y, since they are the same, copy your variable y, then add exponents 4 and 5. So that is 4 plus 5. So what we have here, so simply copy negative 6, copy the variable y, then add exponents 4 plus 5, and that is equal to 9. And this is now the product of item number 2. So let's continue with item number 3. For number 3, same status here with number 2. Well, same thing about number 2. We have 5x squared times 3x to the 7th power. So let's do this in a faster way. 5 times 3 is 15. Then for the variable x, copy. Then you have 2 plus 7, again, add exponents, that would give you the answer of 9. Meaning the product of number 3 is simply 15x raised to the 9th power. So let's continue with the next law. So we are done with the product law. If you, if you have any question about this, feel free to comment down below. So let's have the quotient law. For the quotient law, this one is quite the opposite of the product law. In product law, we are adding the exponents, right? Now, for the quotient law, what we have here for the quotient law, if we have m raised to x over m raised to y, that is equal to m raised to x minus y. We are subtracting exponents. And then, ito siya. Ito yung case niya. If your exponent x is greater than the exponent y, ito yung magiging format natin. Kasi yung next format natin is this. May case kasi na mas greater or mas malaki yung value. Greater value of y compared to x. So the format will be 1 over m raised to y minus x. So for you to understand well about this law, let us have number 1. For number 1, um, let us compare, compare first their exponents. 5 versus 3. 5 is greater than 3, meaning we will 
use this pattern. Okay? Kasi the exponent of the numerator is greater than the exponent of the denominator. So what you need to do is to copy the variable a. So subtract the exponents. We will start with 5 minus 3. And simplifying this, this will give us a raised to 2 or a to the second power. Next, let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we have a to the 4th power over a raised to 9. Let's compare the exponents. Here, let me get the cap of this marker first. Here, the exponent of the denominator is greater than the exponent of the numerator. Again, we're talking about the same base. Eh? Now, ito yung magiging format niya. Okay? Magiging fraction siya. Try natin. That is 1 over copy your variable. That is A. Subtract exponents. Let's start with the exponent of the denominator. That is 9 minus 4. So, simplifying this, that is 1 over A raised to 9 minus 4, which is 5. And this is now the simplified form of number 2. Okay, guys? Now, let's move on with number 3. For number 3, we have, a co we have coefficients, but this one is not that, uh, no, that difficult. Let's divide first the numbers. 15 over 3 or 15 divided by 3 is simply 5. For the variable x, since the numerator of the, the exponent of the numerator is greater than the exponent of the denominator, copy the variable x and you have 10 minus 2. Simplify, you have 5x raised to the 8th power. So, ganito lang eh. If medyo familiar ka sa mga lano to, kaya nyo itong uh, sagutan mentally. Promise. So, let's continue with the third law. Medyo mahaba yung video natin because I'm compressing almost all the uh, loss of exponents that needed in the grade 7 mathematics. So, let's have the third law. We have the power of a power rule. For the third law, we have here a single base m raised to x raised to y. We, we already have the exponent of m and it is also raised by another exponent. So here, what you need to do is to simply multiply the exponents, guys. Yun ang kailangan yung gawin. We need to multiply the exponents. So right now, what we're going to do, I'm gonna adjust the camera first. Okay. So, here. Let's have number 1. Copy the variable a, then multiply 3 and 5. 3 times 5 is 15. And as simple as that, this is the answer. a raised to 15. Next, what about this, sir? Paano po ito? Ang kailangan lang gawin dito is this. Distribute natin. For the numerator, copy the variable a. The original exponent of a is 2. Okay? That is 2 times 4. Over denominator b, 3 times 4. Distribute ko lang yung ating exponent here and here. Simplifying this, this will give us a raised to 8 over b raised to 12. Ito na mismo yung simplified form natin. Okay guys? So let's continue with item number 3. For number 3, simplify muna natin coefficient sa loob. We have 5c square over d cube raised to the second power. So how come na naging 5 na naging ganyan siya? 10 over 2 or 10 divided by 2 is simply 5. So here, meron tayo itong original exponent na 1 eh. So distribute na natin isa isa. Yung ating exponent. We have 5 raised to 2. Kasi 2 times 1. C raised to 2 times 2 over d raised to 3 times 2. Simplify. Your 5 squared is 25. Your c squared raised to 2 times 2 is c to the 4th power over d raised to the 6th power. And this is now the answer for item 
number three. So that's the third one. Let's continue with the last law na meron tayo. We have here, power of a product. Dito, uh, meron tayo yung two or more um, bases na merong exponent sa labas. So, simple lang naman yan. Here, 3x squared y raised to 3. Yung 3 natin is a base. So, meron tayo ng exponent na 1. Same with the variable y. Kapag wala kayo nakikita ng exponent, automatic, that's an invisible 1. Distribute na natin, multiply, 3 raised to 1 times 3. I'm doing it ano, step by step. Then here, x square times 3. Then y raised to 1 times 3. Simplify natin to. 1 times 3 is 3 cubed. Right? Here, this is x raised to the 6th power. Here, y raised to the 3rd power. And remember, yung 3 cubed natin is the same as 3 times 3 times 3. And that is equal to 27. This is x square. Ah, oh, sorry. x raised to 6. y cubed. And this is now the simplified form of item number 1 for the power of product. 27 x raised to the 6th power, y raised to 3. So let's have number 2. For number 2, okay, 4m cubed raised to the 2nd power. So ito meron tayong invisible 1, that is 4 times, uh, raised to 2, kasi yan yan, 2 times 1. And for the variable m, guys, for the variable m, what will happen for the variable m is that yung exponent niya, add lang natin, or multiply lang natin, that is m raised to 3 times 2. So, what will happen? Oh, adjust lang natin tong camera natin. Medyo nalalaglag siya, guys. Okay. So, what will happen here? Is this? Simplify lang natin to. Nalagin yung camera natin, guys. So, hawakan ko na lang sa kabilang end. Yan. Here. That is 4 squared, which is 16. Yung m natin, that is simply m raised to 6. And this is now the answer for this example. So, I hope guys, na sa mismong video natin, natuto kayo about the different laws na binigay natin with regards to the laws of exponents. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!